Okay. Mm, the future looks like Should I say we are headed or should I say it looks like looks like we are headed towards not to total war uh nuclear exchanges um that's due to the cure <laughs> uh famines uh, engineered by uh the cabal uh, they can engineer it um, anyway <laughs> uh, things look really bad um it's like the end times it, it looks like the end times uh people and i'm not saying this is the people who wrote the bible they were what if the this is being engineered by non-human intelligence the elohim uh so it doesn't so everything just sort of, it's like a domino you put the pieces of the, you arrange them in order and you push things here and there. It's like a, a symphony, a complex system. It's a symphony and you put, put things in order, press buttons at the right time. Timing is important. And you are orchestrating a global kind of end time collapse. <laughs> <laughs> that's one way to look at it i guess uh, you could say this is all organic and there's no one behind it like a, a diabolical conspiracy maybe maybe you could say that's not that's not happening but whatever it is what if all of this is being orchestrated by a cabal or non-human intelligence aliens whatever what if they had an intelligence is behind this calamity this end times kind of famine death and war and what if it's being orchestrated by an intelligence that it's not just organic humans uh, you know just uh, uh, interacting with each other but it was all being planned and carried out systematically um yeah uh, i just also also want to talk about like how how on an individual level uh how does this affect you know uh, i feel powerless i feel like you know it's like a the death of the ego <laughs> like uh first they they destroy over by putting pressure they destroy your uh mind your uh, mental fortitude your uh emotional resilience uh, so the destruction is mental psychological you could say spiritual and uh, they they destroy you morally by uh, they destroy your morality uh, uh, integrity 
uh, by taking by making you betray your own values. And this is like the 1984, right? At the end of the uh, end of the what is it? End of the book or movie? He betrays his his uh, friend or whatever, and that's like they destroy you emotionally, mentally. They even destroy you morally. They mean you. They strip you bare, and then. Once you're like morally and spiritually, mentally destroyed, you're like a shell, and the and the, and the body they feed you to the <laughs> to the dogs. Uh, you become like manure, part of the environment. So the the destruction happens mentally, uh, on a, on a on a moral level, and then the destruction of the physical body. Uh, yeah, this sounds pretty fucking. <laughs> but uh, this is what I'm thinking about. It's like this is what's happening. The, the world is—they're not only destroying our countries. Uh, I don't want to say our countries. I don't. I don't. I'm not really into these nations and all that. But nations do exist. And people do believe in these things. It gives them a source of pride. <laughs> so they destroy the nations. They destroy countries, demographics. It's happening on a on a on a, on a collective group level. But the destruction also happens on the individual level. This is totalitarian. <laughs> totalitarianism. Um, I feel like this is where it's headed. And, you know, my response is like, you know, uh, yeah, if this is what's going to happen, you know, I, 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 I do want to have an ego death. I don't want to... If... If uh, my soul <laughs> exists, I don't want my soul to like come back. I don't want to come back to it. I don't want. I hope there is no karma. But if there is karma, and if I had a choice, I would. I don't want to come back and do this whole thing. You know, like cyclical all over again, on and off, on and off. Civilizations rising and falling, individuals living and dying. It's like a cycle. I don't want to be on this cycle. It seems kind of pointless. Uh, if if my soul exists after physical, that I don't want to come back. I want total annihilation. Annihilation. I want my soul ego. To be popped like a uh, bubble, and uh, you know, disappear, disappear into the ether uh, of the universe, <laughs> if that's possible. Um, you know, that's consciousness. Be part of the cosmic consciousness. Well, I feel like consciousness is like I feel like this whole universe is like this conscious thing. It's like there's a sea of consciousness, and I don't want to be like this ego. You know, I feel like because having an ego, this ego, you're, you're suffering a lot. You're, yeah, you might have good moments. Yes, good moments. Peace exists. But given the system we're in, given this planet, which seems to be like a prison planet, uh, yeah, not only do you, do I feel like, uh, the, I don't want to, uh, I want, if this is how things are, I not only do I want to have a physical, physical death, but, but, a, but a soul death. <laughs> And I hope there is no karma. I don't want to come back here and keep on recycling into this system. This is just... No. Even if you have good moments, you're going to have bad moments. And it's like a cycle that keeps on completely going on and on and on. It's like, what the hell? <sighs> the cyclical process. I wonder who's controlling that. 
wonder how it was set in motion. What do I title this video? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to title it. Uh, karmic death cycle? Oh, I don't know. That doesn't make sense. Um... I don't know. Things are looking really bad. <laughs> Maybe I'll just call it that. The, 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 oh my god, it's called uh, karmic deaths. No, karmic. Oh, oh. Mm, shit, I don't know what to call it. The future looks bleak. Yeah, I'll call it that. Yeah. <laughs> 